today 92 plus 75 years of Israeli apartheid, of the illegal occupation, and of the abuse and dehumanization of the Palestinian people. For us it's week 12 of coming out, of speaking out, of letting everybody know that we will not remain silent whilst this genocide is ongoing. As I explained earlier, or briefly mentioned, on Wednesday, the MPs will be meeting for a third time to try and pass a bill in Parliament to make boycotting Israel illegal. Something that's already... Something that sadly is already law in, I think, 28 states in the United States of America. Something that is law in a few European countries. And now in the UK, they are trying to pass it. I read something many years ago that says, if you want to know who is in control, look at who you are not allowed to criticize. The fact that the British sovereign government is passing or considering passing a law to stop people speaking out against the war crimes and the genocide of the state of Israel, the illegal state of Israel, is quite worrying. What hold do they have on our politicians? What hold do they have on the United States politicians? It's a very worrying time that we're living in. Freedom and liberty are not extended to the people of Palestine, just like they weren't extended to the people of Iraq, Afghanistan, Yemen, Syria, Kashmir, the Uyghurs, Sudan, Congo. Which makes you think, is this Colonialism, is it? Yes. Yes. Colonialism is the biggest threat to peace and security all over the world. Yes. Colonialism is an issue that affects every single person. Even though we are living in a country that is run by colonizers, their mentality is trying to colonize us here in the UK as well. How many people have to go to food banks to be able to feed their kids? How many people can't pay their bills? Too many. Too many. How many corporations and organizations have been charged with child labor? Not enough. <laughs> These very same organi organizations that have a very poor track record of how they treat people, working with tyrannic regimes, using eight-year-olds in their workforce, are the very same companies that today are supporting and propping up the Israeli government. Funding funding the Israeli military. Protests are good, but direct action is better. Because we can protest as much as we want, but ultimately, if the money stream is still flowing, then the oil that is needed for the F-16s and the tanks to continue shooting and murdering Palestinians won't stop. We have to use the same techniques and tactics that were used to bring down the apartheid regime of South Africa. I'm going to invite my dear friend, my dear brother, Dr. Kumaran from South Africa. Who's yeah. given some very powerful speeches over the last weeks, but today he's prepared something extra special for you guys. So please pay attention, listen, because this is someone who experienced apartheid, lived through apartheid, and lived through the liberation, liberation of South Africa from the apartheid regime. So please round of applause for Dr. Kumaran. Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon. The oppressed will write history. Write as in R-I-G-H-T. The oppressed I refer to are the Palestinians. A strong, noble, resilient group of people whose faith in Allah, and Allah means God in Arabic, that is beyond comprehension. And it is this unwavering faith that is keeping them alive, and willing to continue this resistance. 
where all hope seems to be fading against the tyranny of the Israeli government. During the apartheid struggle in South Africa, the freedom fighters chant was Amajla Aware to, which translates to the people are the power. And thus, because the people, the Palestinians, are their own power and backed by their strong faith, they will eventually be victorious like Nelson Mandela and his fellow South African freedom fighters. One can only but imagine or feel what the Palestinians are currently going through and have been experiencing even before 1948. We can merely empathize and try to somehow live their emotions and challenges. But try as we may, we will never be able to fully comprehend or walk in their shoes. Dear brothers and sisters, with people, certain things are possible. With God, anything is possible. Don't stop believing that Palestine will be free. Remember, stones are only thrown at olive-bearing trees. And that justice will always prevail. Know that for evildoers like the Israeli government to win is for good people to do nothing. The day when the Palestinians get their liberation and fully reclaim their land from the river to the sea and hoist the Palestinian flag atop Al-Aqsa, that will be the day when the oppressed and, the right, and they will write history. Thus, us echoing the voices of the freedom fighters in South Africa for Palestine. So during liberation in South Africa, as I mentioned earlier, we used to say, Amanjla, Awetu, which means, the power is the people. So when I say Amajla, you say Awetu. Amajla. Awetu. Amajla. Awetu. Amajla. Awetu. Amajla. Awetu. Amajla. Awetu. Amajla. Awetu. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Free, free, Palestine. Free, free, Palestine. Free, free. Right. Custom, custom. Stop. Yeah. Okay. Guys, I want you all to turn towards Starbucks and shout, Starbucks, Starbucks, shame on you! 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 Guys, stick a finger, any finger you like, point to Starbucks and shout, Starbucks, Starbucks, shame on you! Starbucks, Starbucks, shame on you!
can't hide. You say we charge you with genocide. Starbucks, Starbucks, you can't hide. We charge you with genocide. Starbucks, Starbucks, you can't hide. We charge you with genocide. Starbucks, Starbucks, you can't hide. We charge you with genocide. Starbucks, Starbucks, you can't hide. We charge you with genocide. Starbucks, Starbucks.
did we just do now? Shut it down! 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 Shut it
inside, when we said why we're boycotting, he went to the lady, the staff, and he said, I'll have a cappuccino, please, only joking. This is what we're up against. The system is against what we're doing. The government is against what we're doing. But we will keep coming out time and time again until Palestine is liberated. We are not scared. We are not worried because we have the truth on our side. We have justice on our side. And we have nothing to lose when we speak the truth. So we're going to march. Everyone can get behind the big banners. And we want Cardiff to listen today. Everyone in whatever city you're in, wherever you're watching this live from now, get out, mobilize, speak out, because the Palestinians are relying on us. Peace! Free! 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 Free!